I'm in the kitchen right here with Miss Jenny. We're at the Southern Food and Beverage Museum, girl. We are. Yes, and welcome to the kitchen. Thank you very much. So, Jenny, where did Liz find you or did you find Liz? You know, a little bit of both. I was roaming around the education system, and so um, I wanted to come here and do a little bit of education and uh, a lot of bit of cooking. All right, so you work with a lot of the young people yeah. from the local schools, Cafe Reconcile, NOCA, mm -hmm. other schools here in the city who come here to learn about Southern Cooking. We yeah. do a lot of group tours, we do a lot of kids tours, we do a lot of kids programs, kids camps, all those things. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. I got something special for you. Yeah. And when we talk about Southern cooking, mm -hmm. we talk about going back in the day mm -hmm. when real cooks touched the food and got the best beef and pork and vegetables local right from out to earth. Mm -hmm. You can't get a better dish than a Southern fried chicken fried steak. Yeah. I have some prime grass fed T-bone steaks. Mm, the real stuff. The real stuff here. Check it out. They're thin, and the reason why I got them thin is because we don't. We want them to cook kind of fast. Okay. So we want to go for around a medium. And chicken fried steak for you folks at home, you may not understand what that is. It's steak with a fried chicken coating. Mm. Now what's going to make this special is that we're going to fry it here in a little bit of duck fat. And as you can see here, we're not going to deep fry it because normally you deep fry chicken yeah. fried steak. Cutting a little fat, adding duck fat right here. We're going to fry it on both sides. We're going to go in the oven. And I got some string beans for you. And we're going to make some milk gravy. Ooh, all right. You like milk so gravy? We, yeah, All right, course. all right, here we go. We're going to start off here. If I got organic farm fresh free range eggs here, and I use a little cayenne pepper, mm -hmm. garlic powder, onion powder. I'm mm -hmm. going to add that right here in the middle. What I want you to do is go ahead, um, Jenny, and mix that around really good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of extra black pepper here. All right. Pow! There we go. I'm going to take a little bit of black pepper, about two pinches, and put in our egg. I'm going to add a little bit of kosher salt, a nice pinch, and a little bit of Creole seasoning. And we're going to season the meat as well, OK? Right. Look at that. Black pepper. I love mm -hmm. me some black pepper, girl, let me tell you. We're going to go nice and high here. So what we're going to mm -hmm. do here, okay. you want to take it right here. We're going to let that egg mixture get right here. Beautiful. Now we're going to come right here. We're going to dredge it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. There we yeah. go, OK? Now let's check and see if we're hot enough here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that beautiful piece of chicken mm. fried steak oh, here. That's great. Look at that. We're going to finish it off in the oven here, OK? All right. We're going to add a little bit of duck fat here. I'm going to take a shallot here. I like shallot sometimes. We just want to get that good sweetness here. I mean, I've never seen anyone just do half. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to add in a few roasted garlic cloves here, about five of them. Now we're going to take a little bit of our well, chicken fried steak. Long. You want some of that flavor right here yeah. as well, too. OK? Now we're going to do here, yeah. take our chicken fried steak. Now we're going to bring our string beans. I'm going to put that in there. So we got chicken fried steak oil in there yeah. with a little bit of duck fat. I'm going to take some kosher salt. Mm -hmm. And we didn't blanch these ahead of time. We yeah. want to retain all the vitamins. We want to retain all the, the greenness in there as well. A little bit of pepper. So we have a little excess oil here. Now we're going to get ready. We're going to make us a little roux. Mm. We're going to work it. I'm adding a little bit of chicken stock here. We're going to stay true to chicken fried steak all here. Right. Look at that. We're going to kind of get our roux dissolving here mm -hmm. with our chicken stock, OK? Now, I got to get me one of those roux wooden spoons. Yeah. Yes. They got them here, right? Yeah, I sell them. Talk to folks at home <laughs> right quick. I'm going into the museum and get a roux stick. They're made by a local artist, Paul Troiano. This particular one is made out of magnolia. Um, what he does is he takes uh, trees that have already fallen, all Louisiana trees, and he repurposes them into wood mothers, roux mm. spoons. Add a little bit of milk here. All right, here we go. Easy now. Am I doing okay? Okay, that's good. All right, I think we're good here. All right. And I want to show folks at home, they can see how the base of this roux spoon is scraping up the bottom. Look at that. Look how I'm able to, to get the bottom of this pan. You can't do that with a regular spoon. Add a little bit of our parsley here. Oh, yeah, love me some parsley. A little oh. bit here of my parsley. With this big piece right here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to set that big piece of beautiful oh, I love steak the right there. Oh, oh, yeah. Those beans have retained their greens so well. And that's why I go fresh. I don't double cook them, blanch them, then salt them, because you know why? They'll be overcooked. Look at here. And there we have it. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. So you don't want it overdone. This no, is you don't beautiful. want it overdone. This is grass-fed beef. You don't want to overcook it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. At first, mm. you just taste the meat and the consistency. It was incredibly, uh, incredibly smooth. And then you have all of the breading on top, especially with the sauce, just kind of surrounding the whole thing. Yeah.